Hey everyone, so we're starting off the video today. We got the four Rottweilers. We got the other animals out back, but everyone's been asking for a most recent update. So we got Kenai here, he's seven years old, weighing in at 106 pounds. We've got Fluffy here, who's three years old, weighing in at 118 pounds. June, who's one, weighing in at 125. And Kita, who weighs in at 114 pounds. And she is five years old. So we are gonna go out and check on the animals. I'm gonna give you guys an update on the goats. I'll give you guys an update on the chickens, an update on the ducks, and something else I'm trying to catch right there. So uh, what do you guys say we head out back? Okay, let's go. Crazies. Are you guys gonna bring a ball out here or anything? No? All right, then. Okay. Which animals should we go check on first, Kenai? Which animals? You tell me. All right. Definitely uh, know who's the oldest. Because he just likes hanging out with Dad. The others are all excited, running around. Let's go check on the goats first, June. Let's go check on... No, don't pee on that. Let's go check over here. Well, actually, let's grab him a thing of water first. And Dad needs to fill up all the water storage because we're getting low. Kina, you can come over here. Come on. Come. All right, now we give you an update on the goats. So Rick James, Finn, Rocky are less than one years old and Sadie is two and a half years old. They've got their jungle gym here I built, uh, let's see, was that last year? Yeah, last year in the fall, I got all this wood for free and I kind of just cut it up and made them a little jungle gym to play on. Uh, this has been closed off for the past, but I did get this fenced in, if you guys have seen the last ranch update. So I reused some posts that were just around the property. I put fence paneling on here. Now this isn't like the tightest fence ever, but also I, it's pretty strong and it's held on with a ton of spots there. So uh, you can see Fluffy trying to get in the gate over there because that used to be open. And so they would run in here and, and see the goats and whatnot. So. We've got the neighbor's yard over there. We've got uh, fencing right there, cattle fencing. We got some more cattle fencing here. We need to pick up some more cattle fencing and finish this little spot over here. However, Kenai, what do you say we go check on the chickens real quick? Or June, hey. Junior. 
Come here. Absolutely not. Come here. Hey, June. Come. Enough of that. Enough of that. Enough. Arr, enough. Let's go. Come. Okay, so we have got to figure out what to do back here. If you guys remember the video, the Skidster Weekend video, um, we leveled all this stuff out and now we're growing weeds. So we took and closed all this stuff off right here and we're gonna put the goats in there. You can see I've got two live traps right there because I found some raccoon tracks back here and I'm trying to see if I can catch them and what we can do about that because they're up there and I've got stuff here that I was gonna use for storage and then put the goats in here so that they could eat all these weeds. And then we're planning to put cows back here so that they can have a pasture here and then be in there and sleep in there and whatnot. So we got to finish fencing behind this. We got to get rid of all this concrete pile here, but that's like on the last of our priorities. Kenai, do you want to see if you can catch the raccoons? So if you want to see if you can catch the raccoons for me. So we, this is actually coming in pretty well where we leveled out. Um, it is kind of rocky. However, I mean, it's a pasture, so it, it didn't have to be perfect by any means, but it's coming in pretty good. We had a trailer parked here, so that's why it's not growing in as well. Uh, we've got some old farm equipment that I've been pulling out from the demolition that needs to still be, uh, uh, I don't know, taken out of here. I finally got the carabiners and chains for all the doors. So the reason why I put those is just so in case the dogs get in here um, while I'm at, or uh, get in here while I'm not out here that nothing happens to any of the animals. June, go. So we I'm gonna check on the ducks. Hey, you stay there, sir. So this is a mess because they've been splashing in here and getting water out, and this is what well, seems like waste. So we're gonna be careful stepping in here. And it's a little darker in here, but we're gonna give you a duck update. So the ducks are getting pretty big. I'll show you guys like kind of the size of my hand. Whoa, crazies. So we got their little water splash thing here and also they're drinking so they can clean their nostrils out and whatnot. But there's the ducks. We got the chickens on this side. We'll go give you guys an update on them. The ducks are five weeks old today. Five weeks old. Watch out. So I just got a little system here so that the dogs or any other animals can't push the door all the way open. And I could probably even go one more tighter. All right, where's the dogs at? Look, that's the kennel that we had uh, when we brought June home for his first night's home. What are you guys doing? Oh, you guys saw me go in the coop. You're all probably waiting right here by the door, huh? <laughs> All right, stay here. All righty, guys. So the chickens are just a little over. Chickens are just a little over a year. And June's coming in. All right, there's he stay out. So the ch Are you kidding me? Okay, so the chickens are just a little over a year old, and they're they're laying great. I mean, we've got, yeah, I didn't even check before I said that, but every day they produce a ton of eggs. So this one's probably laying some eggs right now. We've got tons of eggs right there. We probably have a couple more eggs over there. June's scared of the chickens still. He's like, look, that one starts flapping, and he's like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Kina's a good boy. Looks like we gotta top off some of their food. June, you wanna feed them for me? All 
All right. Okay, here's some food. June, what? June's like only skittish around the birds. Never anywhere else. Doing things one-handed is not always the easiest. All right, June, let's go. All right, you guys have been good today, so we'll give you some eggs. If I can grab four eggs. Why do I always, there we go. Okay, let's go. June. Junior. Hey, let's go. Good boy. Man, the chicken coop got you all sorts of distracted, huh? Okay, here we go. Come here. Kenai. Oh, hey, look. There's a chicken. Kenai, get away from the chicken. I don't really trust Kenai around chickens because he's a savage. All right, here you go. Sit. Where's Kita? Did she get stuck in one of the fenced in areas somewhere? Okay, Kita! Kita, Kita! Kita! Part of me is betting she's over there. Kita! June, where the heck is your grandmother? Oh my heck. She's out in the street. Oh, that's what dad gets for not closing the gate, huh? Get over here. She's like, nope, I'm going home. I know I shouldn't have ran out there. Kita, look. Dad has something for you. Good girl. Thanks for coming when I called. There's that for you. And she's running away from the boys now. June's like, wait, where's mine, Dad? Where's mine? I think that's about all the update we need. Um, we've got uh, baby update. Cozy is 10 and a half weeks, almost 11 weeks, whatever. I sound like a crazy parent that like says down to the day, whatever. Um, the fish are all doing well. Uh, I need to get. I need to show the fish on the channel actually here pretty soon. Uh, it's June or it's it's mid June. It's mid June. Hey, wait. June's name is June. Your name's Kenai. It's mid Kenai. That's what we're going to call this season. It's mid Kenai because Kenai's happy in this weather. But anyway, there's an update on the ranch. We've got rocks here and rocks there for a pond that's coming in. And well, I think that's about it. Kenai, you want to say goodbye? Say like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.